A few points about Russell Brand's baptism. Um, no, I certainly would not want to get b- baptised in the Thames, as people have pointed out. It's The pollution level in there is absurd. Um, uh, it's a good way to pick up a large number of infections, I would think. I could think it only of falling in the t- canals in Venice has been a bit worse. Romantic as they look, you know, falling in those is a recipe for numerous lovely infections. Um, however, a couple of points about it. Um, ab- adult baptism and baptism by non-ministers. Bear Grylls is listed as Anglican, and yes, technically Anglicans are supposed to be baptised by ministers, not by the laity. Um, there are exceptions for that under Anglican canon law, as there are under Catholic canon law, and as there are for the Eastern Orthodox, but they normally are quite extreme and odd exceptions. But Anglicism is quite a broad church, and I have no idea if Brer Grylls is still a standard Anglican or has become sort of born again Christian, where those rules wouldn't really apply. The rules for Anglicans normally, to some extent, broadly mirror Catholics, that basically, yeah, for most of baptisms, you need a, a minister, a priest, a reverend, someone to be there. You don't do it yourself. There are exceptions. You can baptise a member of the laity if there's an immediate danger of death, or if somebody requests baptism and, again, there is an immediate danger of death and you can't get a clergyman there in time, you think, stuff like that. There are other roundabout exceptions involving arguments about religions and theological um, arguments. One that comes up quite a lot is, um, and it comes up more, I think, for Catholics and Anglicans, although I've seen it talked about for Anglicans, is the idea of, baptism where one party is non-catholic and the other is catholic and priests will say no you don't do that it's offensive it's not an emergency the problem is of course if somebody does do it it's still a valid baptism but it's illicit which creates all sorts of problems for the clergy and for the child and which is why they recommend it not be done um it's a big issue there's a couple of major differences between western and eastern baptisms leaving aside the Eastern Catholic churches, which are part of Catholicism, but are, well, no offence meant to Eastern Catholics, but they're a smaller subsection that most Westerners tend not to be so aware of. But they have a similar tradition to the Orthodox, where baptism is also where you receive the sacraments of chrismation and the Eucharist for the first time. So you've got three out of the way at one go. (laughs) Bargain price, as, as somebody put it once. Um, no offence, man, there's no point. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure about whether this is a serious move on Russell Brown's part. part no, it's not for me to judge. That's between him and his creator. Um, that, that's the only way I can see of addressing it. That's where Russell to work out as another imperfect, flawed being as he makes his own path. Russell is a quite eccentric individual. But he does strike me as having some concern for the rest of the human race, even if he does sometimes waffle a go off at odd directions. He doesn't strike me as a, a, com- a completely odd, a hopeless individual, although there are points, things he's done, which I would say are unwise and flawed and not things to copy. Certainly his usage of drugs and his heavy involvement in Sex just for pleasure are certainly things I wouldn't regard as particularly moral. But then again, he could probably point back at me and go, well, who are you to, you to judge? I, are you God? And I'd have to go, no, I'm not Russell. I've got lots of faults of my own. Um, given this, I think it's unwise to speculate on whether it's just for money or not until we see how Russell works out on it. Also, I think we'd need to know more about Bear Grylls' background and exactly what Bear is embracing as a Christian at this point. Bear's Wikipedia page just tells you that he's an Anglican. It, it tells you very little, in fact. I think the only way you could know about this is if if you can find, and or if I can find information on Bear talking about his own religious journey, and then I'd be in a better place to judge, as after all, not all Christians believe in baptism adult baptism and infant baptism create great arguments worthy of a big punch up between the different wings of them 
and so on, it, it all gets very involved and silly. Um, I'm going to actually move on, I think, after this and show you some baptisms from various churches, because I think you might find some of them quite entertaining. <laughs> 